Are you ready to learn how to really manage your client's email or your own email? If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Lian Lai. I have been working from home myself for the last 10 plus years basically at this point. And I run a virtual assistant agency here in the Philippines called 2XU. And I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now I've done a lot of videos before on email management, how to do it for yourself, how to do it for your clients if you're a virtual assistant. But I've gotten a lot of comments of how do you actually do this? Like what's a walkthrough? So basically I kind of pushed me like, okay, Okay, I'm gonna do an actual walkthrough video and I'm even gonna use my personal email address because it has kind of not really been kept to par versus my work email just because like I don't really check my personal email as much as I should be and I don't have a lot of the systems that I have on my work email in my personal email so I thought it would be a perfect example for you guys to see how do you actually get to inbox zero or at the very least having your emails be organized in a way where it's not going to be super overwhelming for you so this is again by email it was my birthday yesterday so they will have this will have like a lot of birthday greetings from the different subscriptions that i have so don't mind that uh but this is my actual email so i have here 69 emails um going through every single one and i'm gonna walk you guys through how i'm gonna clean this up to create systems so it doesn't have to be as messy as it currently is so the first thing that you want to do to be able to clean up your inbox is to assess what i mean by assess is just look at it like look what are the common emails that you see what are you know if you're going to be doing this for a client assess how they're currently doing their systems like what does that actually look like for them do they have filters in place do they have processes they have already so it's just look so it's not anymore right away just jumping right into the deep end and just creating filters or creating systems first just notice just assess the next step is to basically try to notice patterns so for example for me I have mostly it's going to be like different things of like subscriptions that I have I have like Hamilton Philippines on here I have like books basically or authors that I'm subscribed to so that's the first thing is kind of just to see what are the usual emails that your client might be getting um, that way you are able to notice like okay I have like my banking statements on here i have like up uh, i have like different people who have their newsletters or their my own subscriptions to them basically so that's kind of noticing okay what are the common types of emails that your client or yourself you see basically from your day to day now the next thing is again depending if you're using gmail or using outlook but for me i like going and actually modifying my inbox so i would go to see all settings and there's different types of inboxes you can prepare. So the usual one is, of course, just unread first. There's important first, start first, priority inbox, or multiple inboxes. Now, for me, I honestly like setting up multiple inboxes. But first thing, if you don't have this, because the default basically... Um, I'll go back to save changes, basically. So the default, if you don't have this set up, is this. You, you've probably seen it in this way. But I like personally setting it up where I can only see... Um, unread first so it's easy for me to go through them with with having to go through the different tabs basically so now that I have this I've set up basically um, that I'm on unread first I've showed you guys how later on we'll set up the multiple inboxes but the next thing is you want to start creating filters so now that I've noticed what are the common patterns I will recommend to you guys a couple of filters that you might want to have on the inbox so um, first one so here you guys will notice that I have a couple of labels that I do have already in place but i'm going to get a, go ahead and click create new label and then again i'm setting this up as if i was just cleaning my own inbox so i would put a needs action label so the needs action label is basically i need to reply to this right away or there's extra step that needs to get done so i'll just put needs action and to make it a little bit cute honestly i'm gonna add a uh just an eye emoji oops uh on here just so it's like hey look at this and this is something to look at for a reason so i'm gonna just put that right there great and then next is a read later now honestly if you're trying to really to go to inbox zero i recommend not having a read later but if you are trying to clean up an inbox i just put a read later because then it's going to be easy for me to go back to that later on so without like having to ruin anything else so for example for here because it is you know called read later um i'll just book 
put a book emoji on here and Lee read later. And then the next couple of ones are going to be for client team and subscription. So um, depending on, again on what you've noticed from your client so far, you want to have basically ready labels that you'll then start applying later on. So now that we have the labels all set up, is you want to go ahead and now start creating the filters out of it. So for example, on the search email, one of the th first things, honestly, to clean this up is I'm going to look for the word unsubscribe because this means that these are the more uh, just promotional email. So right off the bat, you'll see, okay, all of these have like subscribe on them. So I'm going to click all. I'm going to click mark as red. And honestly, I'm going to archive them. So then it's off of my main inbox. So now that you have the unsubscribe on here, click search options, create filter. Basically, it just has the word unsubscribe. And then here, just choose to apply to a label. So let's say just the subscription label that we created. You can choose to delete it. You could say never uh, send it to spam. Uh, and you can click also never mark it as important because most of the time for subscriptions, they're not really that important. Um, and then you can click create filter. So then every single time that these kinds of emails pop up in the inbox, they will be subscribed to that. You can do a step further and then you can actually just apply the subscription label to it right off the bat. So then on your inbox, again, anytime that they come in, you can see like, oh, this is just another subscription email that I have uh, subscribed to. Now, the next step for this, honestly, is you going ahead and unsubscribing to newsletters that your client or you don't really care about. Uh, that's kind of the next step. But for now, we're just cleaning this inbox up. So that is basically my walkthrough on how to create filters and what kind of labels you want to have with your client's inbox. Now, later on, you guys can set up the multiple inboxes, basically, so that it works with the labels that you have and I'll link somewhere in the description below of like a better walkthrough than I could ever could on setting up those multiple inboxes but that is how I would clean that up I will just keep doing that for the rest of the other emails that I have on my inbox to clean it up to get it to zero now when it comes to managing your email or your clients email a few things to really keep in mind the first one is don't use it as a way to save tasks or to have something like oh I'll go back to that as a task actually move things Anything that needs action on your email, actually now move it into your task list. Never have something that's just pending on there because you might just kind of be overwhelmed seeing that number always on there. So try to always move tasks that are coming from an email into your actual task list. You can put the link to the email in there so it's easy for you to go back to. But the point of it is that not holding your inbox as a task list. Next is start going ahead and creating templates. Now I've talked about this before as well. And it's basically, as you've noticed, the different kinds of emails that your client usually gets or that you get is that you can have templates set up so it's easy for you to reply to these emails. It doesn't have to be that you're writing something new every single time. And when you're using Gmail, there is a way that you can save templates on there that saves you time. There's also a lot of extensions and tools to be able to do that. I won't go into that too much, but the importance is just making your life easier by creating a lot of templates for applying to emails. Next is just make it part of a habit. So what this also means is try to schedule when you're checking the inbox. Don't make it just like you're always reacting, you're always checking the inbox. Try to have it be at the beginning of your day, in the middle of your day, right before your lunch. And then as you are ending your day, you're cleaning up your inbox, you're applying filters, you are making sure that anything that is a task is put into your task list, you're responding to things because this puts you in a state where you know you're going to respond to something instead of just reacting to it. So make it a habit to just have it at different parts of your day. Again, you can even have it just at the beginning of your day or end of your day, but just making sure that it is clean because inbox management is all about one, making sure that you are able to respond to anything that's urgent and important. Two, it's also making sure that you capture any tasks that you need to do before the next meeting, before the next event, or before you know sending off this next email to them. So it's just making sure that you have all of that set up. So hopefully things not falling through the cracks is kind of the main thing. And the important part of this is to start creating a process. So let's say your client had a process, but a lot has changed basically since you've taken over their inbox. It's important that you start capturing the documentation of how this process will actually look 
look like creating a static operating procedure on the step-by-step -step what to do basically in the beginning of the day as you're cleaning it up what's the process there and at the end of the day if there's anything that needs to be responded to that you can't respond yourself is just putting a tag on there like need response or need action so then the next day as your client comes in they can see basically the things that are already mostly cleaned up except for the things that only they can respond to it's important to have this starting operating procedure because then it's easy for the both of you to be on the same page of what this process looks like versus like you or they getting screwed up because there wasn't a written process of how the inbox is cleaned and things kind of sadly again falling through the cracks now the last bit that i did want to mention here is that keeping in mind the zero inbox myth now, i'm calling it a myth even though i said that if that's your goal this is how you can do it but it is a myth mostly because if you put it in your head like i'm always going to be in box zero you're putting in too much unnecessary pressure for yourself to be able to go through all of this every single email that you receive is keeping in mind that it's okay to delay responses it's keeping in mind that it's okay to pause basically or just reply hey super busy right now but i really want to get back to this i'll get back to you within 24 hours it's okay to do that because when you are a business owner or when you're the virtual assistant to the business owner there's going to be a lot of other things that will be coming through throughout the day so it's okay that things you know build up to two emails five emails ten emails as long as you do that habit the process of cleaning it up again beginning of your day middle of your day end of your day or just the ends basically of your shift it's okay because the point of it again is making sure that you respond to whatever needs to be responded to attend to anything that is urgent and important make sure again that things don't fall through the cracks i keep saying that making sure that things don't fall through the cracks but what that actually means is making sure that if there's a client who has a question or a team member that has a question or something else is needed it actually is in the inbox rather than it being thrown somewhere else and never be seen again. So that's what I mean by it is you catch basically all the things that are important and, you know, let the others kind of filter through the whole or rest of your process. Your client's inbox is usually the main way of communication between their clients or customers or with the team. So it's really important to keep in mind to have that detail-oriented eyes or pair of eyes for you to make sure that you are on it, you're taking care of it, and your client knows and trusts that you have the inbox basically down to a process, down to a system that they can trust that if there is anything that they need to look at with you is that you've already looked at it, you've already filtered it, and you know what is important to them so it's easier for them to go through the rest of their day. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below what else do you want to see when it comes to email management. I would love to know. And if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here i hope you guys have an amazing day and remember that small steps matters and i'll see you in the next video bye